all the things happening right now, I feel that I can't move on to my next vlog without even addressing the elephant in the room. COVID-19. COVID-19 has shaped the way we work, the way we interact with other people, and how we take care of ourselves and our loved ones. For me, I just thought I want to make this vlog to showcase one of our essential workers, our market vendors, who tirelessly show up to work every single day, doesn't mind the dangers of interacting with different people, making our lives a little bit easy as we ease in to this lockdown period. Today, we're going to visit one of the most iconic places here in the city of Cleveland, located at the corner of West 25th Street and Lorraine Avenue in Ohio City, the West Side Market. Since opening to shoppers back in November 2, 1912, West Side Market is the oldest operating indoor-outdoor market space in Cleveland, Ohio. Designed by renowned local architects Dominic Benes and Benjamin Hubble, the grand 241 by 124 structure has 44 foot high Guastavino tile vaulted ceiling and a clock tower which stands around 137 feet tall. The tower was historically fashioned with a clock design and manufactured by the Seth Thomas Clock Company. On December 18, 1973, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2008. Westside Market was designated as one of the 10 great public places in America by the American Planning Association and continues to offer an authentic and culturally diverse shopping experience. The Westside Market celebrated its centennial in 2012. Now we're going inside and try to talk to some of the vendors. Hi, my name is David. I'm one of the owners of Pierogi Palace here at the West Side Market where we sell homemade pierogies. Hi David, so any adjustment that your store faced since lockdown started? Yes, we have. Social distancing, which we do, enhanced uh, disinfecting and hand washing, and that in trade is way, way down. So how's pretty much the surge in the curbside order, especially most of the customers, they prefer it to be delivered right in their car? No. So. Most people that come down here want to come in. Very they few. still want to do that the yeah. old way? Okay. So moving forward, once everything is lifted up, um, what are the new things that you want to do? Or maybe you just want to stay the same thing before all this started? No, actually... I'm going to have to close this location. Oh, you are? Why? There's not enough trade. It's not, I can't even pay the rent. Wow. Like, so, even before the lockdown started, oh you're no, almost going to be doing great. that. Right. Well, any words to your loyal patrons who's been here throughout the years? Yes, come see us at our new location this summer in Lakewood. <laughs> Hi Christina, so what are the new adjustments that your store faced since lockdown started? Well, I had to, you know, cut down on the baking because business does not have, uh, but customers are still shopping, so I want to be here for the people that are still coming out. So how's the surge in the curbside orders, especially nowadays where the drivers doesn't want to get out from their cars and they prefer someone to go over there and give the... I think it was important for us to start doing that. It's brand new to the market. We started doing it since the lockdown and it was super helpful. It's helped with business and it's keeping people from coming in that are afraid to come <laughs> After all of this, after the ban is lifted up, um, is there any th new things that you want to do uh, in the store? or? Any, any type of thing that's going to improve? Still or? being talked about because it's like one day at a time and it just once we get back to some kind of normalcy we'll that we can talk about it more. So any message to your loyal patrons? Uh, I'm just years. super thankful for my loyal customers. You know, the people that are still coming are <laughs> grateful that I'm here and this is grateful that they're shopping and every little bit counts, especially during this time. Marin, 
I sell oh, a little bit of everything here from uh, rice, beans, hot sauce, spices, so it's international and domestic uh, food. It's like a small grocery. Hi Nareen, so is there any adjustments that your store faced since lockdown started? Oh yes, there are a lot. Um, because number one, is fewer customer here. And the second is um, a lot of people doesn't know what we have. Here Absolutely. in the store, um, in the market itself, because people think um, market is not a supermarket. Uh, it is. Supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. I can see you have a gazillion different oh, yes. types of spices yes. over yeah. here. A lot of things that you cannot find in a box store, we have it here. But I wish people think of the West Side Market to find things that they couldn't find in a box store. So because of uh, this Corona thing going on here, yeah. people flock to the box store. Absolutely. And, you know, it changed the market a lot. So we hoping that people think about the market and come back and say, hey, you know. So is there any surge when it comes to uh, curbside orders, especially people who decided to be in their cars and have someone yes. over there? Yes. Oh, yes. We have a curbside pickup here. And um, they have a main um, uh, phone number in the office that calls the main office. Or they can call each individual group and put their curbside order and then we ask our customer which stand they buy from and then we go into different stands and shop for them then there's only one of us go out to the car you know we have like a hundred and some stand here Absolutely. so you just call one number and tell us different places that you buy from what you're buying from and we just do it for them it's very convenient for the customer who does not want to come inside the building so we just take it out, you know. And I also, uh, now I do more uh, shipping, shipping. Too, but I prefer not doing that. Awesome. But I'd rather do the curve size. Or so moving forward, if everything is lifted out, the lockdown, so any new things that you want to do in the store or with, with what you do or? No, no, for good. me, I have not done anything different awesome. before or after. So awesome. to me, everything I sell here is our jars, bottles, awesome. and no, I became good. So, no, I, I, I don't do anything different except clean, you know, and awesome. disinfected. Uh, there's awesome. no different yeah. than before. Yeah, so you, that, that's before. what it should be. Yeah, it's awesome. nothing what nothing. I did before, what I did now, and awesome. future because, you know, we all have hands, you know, awesome. wash and all that. So, no, that's for me. <laughs> well, any message to your loyal patrons who's been here uh, throughout the years? Well, I do. Thank you and appreciate it for the one who coming every week, every month, um, for get their meat instead of going to the back store. And I do thanks, not only thanks and appreciate them, that you know, whatever that you buy from the West Side Market, most likely you buy from the owner. And we are supporting, this is our bread and butter, yes. you know, it's not you supporting somebody's, you know, buying a Big second company. house or buying a second yeah. airplane, you know, yeah. and if we're here, you, you, you know, you spend your money with the people who it live in, right and it goes too. straight right up to the owner, straight up to it, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, awesome. to me, going to the back store, nothing, you know, it's supporting the wealthy, and we are, you know, working Absolutely. hard to make a living. Tony's Bologna. My name is Joyce Tony, and I have a full pork stand and a deli stand. Hi, Joy. So, any adjustments that your store faced since lockdown started? Uh, just the curbside pickup that we're working on fixing. So, there's a big surge of curbside pickup, especially passengers or maybe your customers doesn't want to get out of the car and they prefer it to be delivered right under. I'm not getting as many as people think. Most people still want to come into the building and shop. Oh well, th th that's a good thing. As long as we're practicing social distancing, social distancing all the good stuff. And all the good stuff. Like moving forward after everything is settled down, is there any new that you want to do, or you you know, or you just want to stay the way even before? I'm old fashioned, so I just want to stay the way that we are. Any message to your loyal patron who's been here? Thank you guys so very much. You have kept me working throughout all of this pandemic, and I really do appreciate it. Uh, Michael Kalil at A1 Quality Produce, and we sell fruit here. 
So, hi Michael. So, what are the new adjustments that your store yeah. faced since yeah. lockdown so started? Yeah, so we've definitely had a lack in uh, customers. Lately, it's been a ghost town in here. Yeah. But um, we've just been buying less fruit, really. Oh. But um, it's been helping a lot. There. Um, they stopped our rent for a few months now. That's definitely been helping. So, how about the surge in pickup orders since some of the customers they prefer it to be delivered right in their car so how is yeah, it going? Yeah, I think that's a great idea actually for the customers who don't like in contact with the vendors so the curbside is definitely helping. Moving forward is there anything new that you want to do in the store? No, we're just gonna keep going as it is and hopefully everything will be back normal. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, absolutely. Yeah. Um, any message to your loyal patron who's been here for the longest time? Yeah, we want to thank the loyal customers who have come every week and this hasn't stopped them from uh, stopping from coming here and going to the grocery store so thank you. As we stay positive in this pandemic, there are habits that never gets old and yes, he's included. I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your unrelenting service. It will get better one day at a time. Better days are not past us. It's coming to us. Never say never. We got this together.